Okay, hello, YouTubers. Uh, this is a uh, dangerous spot. Uh, Skip it, Zoa. And it's time for a review. As you can see, as you guys have been noting for. First of all, HD. Okay? Wait a minute. When you see Zoa, that means you know it's gonna be an HD. Zoa, HD? One check. <laughs> yeah, you ready for the review? Yeah? Okay, now let's get started. Today's review is of my brand new <coughs> Ebonite Magnum Bowling Ball. Uh, color is ruby, blue, and gold. Um, it also glows. Uh, Pretty much the same color as Scorpion when you put it under a black light. Uh, when this ball is uh, subjected to a black light, um, it's a 10 pounder. I don't know what gyro means, but alright. Um, it is a recreational ball. It is a very good ball. I wasn't able to get some bowling videos with it because the minute I took it to my um, lanes, um, a big gash. Shut up, mutt was uh, placed right about here, so the uh, bowling alley's pro shop had to fix it for free, so yay. Um, I got this at Sports Authority. Um, you know, here are the holes, they draw it too, for a penny, if you buy it from them. It was, uh, 45 bucks because I had a coupon. It was pretty colored on it, I mean, I didn't buy it for the colors, obviously. Um, <coughs> Other than that, though, it's a great ball. I like it. Very easy to handle. You know, I'm not a pro bowler. I'm a recreational bowler, so uh, my average is 150, somewhere around that, when I'm having a good night. When I, you know, continue to, um, you know, if I really do keep bowling, I can get up to 200s, but, you know, if I stop, you know, then I lose the momentum. Okay. Well, you know, like I said, it's the color scheme is called ruby, uh, ruby gold and blue, I believe. And um, it's from Ebonite. It's not a um, what do you call it? Ah, uh, come on. Oh, Brunswick. It's not a Brunswick ball. Um, it is polyester. Um. Like I said, as you can see, yeah, it is new. I just got it this Saturday. It's a little, like, uh, uh schmatza looking. As you can see here, you'll see it looks, like, new. But on this end, it doesn't, because this is where it had to get, um, repaired. So I have to have to clean this ball again. Um, I did do a, get another, uh, well, it's kind of a duffel bag on wheels, but I use it as a bowling bag. But I'll do a review on that some other time. Um, I will get some bowling videos the minute I go back to a lane that doesn't kill my ball. Um, other than that, it's a really good ball. Um, you know, it's, it's a recreational ball, so... You know, you don't have to ha know how to curb or anything like that. Um, you just have to release it in the right spot and just pray it goes there. Um, again, this is a 10 pound ball, perfect for me. Um, really nice color, I have to say. You shouldn't be showing that, alright. So, um, well, I'm gonna give this ball a 10 out of 10. I don't see nothing wrong with it, it's a great ball for what I paid for it, for what I wanted it for. Uh, the fact that the, the the bowling alley's machines tore into it wasn't the ball fault because it was a poor machine maintenance. Um, because I have to be honest, I did bowl with this before midnight bowling. I bowled a game with the lights on, the Seattle's ball handles, and it was fine. But when I got to that one lane that destroyed, that put the gas in the ball here, um, that's when it happened. Let me explain. It was like, um... Hold on one second. It was like, um... Let's say you get a cut. Let's just say this is your, um, skin. You get a cut on the skin, like, about, uh, yay long. 
And you know how it's, some of the cuts, the middle is like deeper or a little bit wider than the rest of the cut? That's what it was like. So, I mean, obviously it was the machine that did it. But the guy at the pro shop at, um, fixed it up really nice. He just didn't polish it or anything. Which I felt he should have done. I mean, it was the alley's fault that the machine broke. But anyway, um, that's it. 10 out of 10. It is an Ebonite brand. If you're looking for a recreational ball, go to sportsauthority.com. They have it there. They have this in peacock. They have this in pink. They have this in many different colors. And weights. Well, I think only 6, 8, 12, uh, 10, and 14. So you'll have to check that out for yourself. So this is, uh, Stivazella. And our Ebonite bowling ball. Magnum. Style. In HD. HD. <laughs> and I'm out. Find someone special in six months. Oh, and there's the box real quick. In case you guys are... Yeah, it's upside down. Let's see. Maybe the video will go upside down. There we go. I don't have the orientation on it, I hope so. I shouldn't fix this. Alright, I'm out. The ball.